Welcome back to Factorio. Great, so, well, we have a lot of things to do today, of course, that's pretty much always the case. Let me check, check up on something. I, I just want to make sure I'm making the blue belts that I need to be making, which are right here. That is correct. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. All right. Because, because I want to make sure that I use blue belts for or at least the blue underground belts. Well, maybe even the blue regular belts on the ships, the starships. <clears throat> another thing I want to do, which I um, need to make another rocket platform. Another rocket platform. And I need to send all these parts to that. Actually, you know. I might have to make an array of <laughs> rocket silos. Where can I do that? You know, I could do that here. I could do it here. Sure. Uh, I probably don't need that many beacons. Can we see about making? Yeah, let's 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 make us several rocket silos or rocket platforms because I think we're going to need a few of them. Rocket silo, there we go. <laughs> also, I am going to start the space platform thruster technology because we'll be doing that soon. I want to get that going. And let's see what we have for, oh gosh, you know, hmm. Well, I'm currently set up for going to outpost building, but I, I also want to be able to set up, uh, want to be, Probably should put beacons in my regular requests. There's a stack of beacons. Oh, you know what? I know I already have a stack of beacons for my modules. Didn't notice. Wow, these trees are in a pretty sorry state, aren't they? It's funny how that works. The actual look of the trees changes over the course of the game as your pollution sets in. So your pollution really, really, really harms uh, the life forms on this planet and uh, angers the bugs, or I should say the uh, activists, the environmentalists, and causing much uh, strife and mayhem. All right, let's grab that rocket silo. Whoops. Oh, crap. It was already snatched away from me. Here. We'll put it back. Come on, bring it back. There it is. <laughs> All right, we have space platform thrusters. What does this get us? It gets us the ability to, to craft a thruster on a space platform and also to make water from ice and thruster fuel from water and carbon and thruster oxidizer from water and iron ore, which is, as somebody who understands chemistry, it, it bugs me that, that they picked these to be the ingredients. Because there's no way in hell that combining carbon and iron, you're going to get rocket fuel. It's just silly. I, or, I mean, we know, we know that rocket fuel already has a pretty decent recipe for the rest of the game. But we're expected to believe that carbon, which is probably one of the most stable, um, you know, low energy, low energy state elements that there is, um, that you're going to somehow, without adding anything else, except water, <laughs> which is oxygen and hydrogen, that you're going to create anything other than hydrocarbons. 
You know, I mean, you have to put energy in to create the hydrocarbons. You're, you're not going to, you're not going to just combine water and carbon to get something that you can get energy out of. Sorry. Um, you know, unless you're, you, unless you're putting a ton of energy into it, which, you know, to be fair, that's maybe the chemical plant uses a lot of energy to do so. But then again, why is the oxidizer iron? How, how, how is iron creating an oxidizer? That doesn't, yeah, I, I'm sorry. That just, that's <laughs> silly, but you know, that's the, that's the rules of the game. It's the universe that we're playing in. And there are some interesting universe implications uh, in this game that I have some theories on that I'm kind of um, fascinated by. So let's let's put some let's put some beacons down. Where's my beacons? I have such a hard time seeing specific things in this mess. Oh, there they are. I see it. All right. So beacons. We'll put down three. And then we will put down the rocket silo. And then we'll put down another three over here. And that's probably enough. So we're going to stick, for now, speed modules in these little, little speed modules in there. We will put productivity modules in the silo itself and we're going to have um i still feel like belting it in is probably better than bots for now um let's tap it right off of here So there's there's two of the three parts, and then there, we've got rocket fuel down here. Uh, I know. There we go. Now it's worth noting that the underground belts are not going to reach. Here, but the blue might and they don't damn it uh, I was really hoping they would they don't they don't reach well you know what that means I have a slightly different uh, game plan we're gonna take this and we're gonna rotate it uh, this way Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to combine, Here, let's, let's do this and then we'll take, um, stack inserters. I really only should need one to be honest. Um, oh, but then, oh shoot. I'm going to need a long inserter. And I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know how fast. I have the option of putting multiple inserters on. Let's let's just see what happens when I put these on. We'll see what happens. All right. So so you can see from the progress that it's the red the red-handed inserter is it's putting them on fast enough. In fact, I don't even need that. I'll just break their blue is fine. Yeah. So this is going to get a rocket going. And then we'll, then we'll take this and we'll duplicate. Yeah, like so. Now, this is going to prepare rockets in, um, you know, oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to get power to the beacons, which I, I haven't done, these middle beacons. 
And also, I don't... Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, let's rethink this a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll have to accept wasting that partially done rocket. It's not, it was of like 30%. That's fine. So there's a rocket. And this beacon does reach, so um, we'll put that power down. And what this means is we have six beacons each. So if I mouse over it, you can see that I have, uh, it says productivity plus 16%, and then crafting speed 127%. Beacons times six, 40.8% each. So it's about 41% effectiveness each on account of the fact that there's six of them. And I don't want to go much lower than that, I don't think, in terms of effectiveness. But um, six, yeah, this feels like about the right amount for rockets. I don't need any on the front or the back or the sides here. Um, so that's got two rockets. And then this one will just go here, like so, and then we'll make these rockets as well. And I'm going to take away uh, these inserters because I don't want to bring any more parts into that or into this silo. We'll just, we'll just launch these two and then be done. Let's just see. We have so Mysteria. I, I'm actually gonna. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna keep this as is for now because this is this is very stable, producing space science for us. I don't need this to do anything else. This was kind of our prototype, you know, experiment. It's not not particularly well laid out or anything like that, but. Uh, um, I do hope to do better in the next one. There's the next rocket. Now, we, one of the things I want to do is I want to bring these, um, I keep forgetting the name of it. What is it called? The uh, platforms. Space Platform Foundation. So I want to bring the foundations up there because what I'm tr going to do is I'm going to make a dedicated foundation um, rocket. Oh, all right. So I'm going to need to put undergrounds on both of these. I think that's because I could I could underground here, but I can't. Then I won't have enough room to fit an inserter. So let's. And this will just be a um, blue belt. And so what this is going to do is we're going to load foundations onto a rocket. And the rocket is sitting there. Now, the way this works that I've figured out, I'm pretty sure I understand that as long as I don't automatic request... Um, automatically requests supplies from local logistics network to fill fulfill requests from space platforms in order but I don't I don't know like does that mean that the rocket silo can act as as a a provider chest or a, a, a requester chest as one of these blue guys requester chests because what I've heard, and I, I have not verified. What I've heard is that if you if you use this option, then anytime any plat space platform wants something, that this rocket will request a stack of those things and send a rocket full of just that item to space. Now that might not be what you want. You might only want a handful of things. Um, you know, like if you want one inserter, it's going to send a stack of inserters. I don't know, I want 50 inserters up there. Um, 
but if you don't use this option, then what you can do is you can just dump products into the inventory. Now, what this will do is the rocket will sit here like this one is. This one's just sitting here. But if I if I take this and I start building um, platforms to the point where I've used up the ones that are in the inventory and it it starts requesting um, requesting platforms. What's going to happen is is if this stack is full, it's just going to auto launch the rocket and it's going to auto launch it to the location of the station that wants a space platform that wants those things. So that's what this one is dedicated for. So what I can do in fact, is I can just say um, icon foundation rocket. Oh, and then I just say always show. And yeah, look at that. So this is the foundation rocket. Boy, that's nice. I love these little signs. That's very nice. And I can even go um, foundation rocket. Foundations equals 50 or foundations less than 50. Um, foundation, foundations missing. So what that'll do is if it doesn't have the 50, it'll say foundations missing for whatever, if for whatever reason it doesn't have any, then that, that will always show up. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty, I like this. I love these little things. I just need to figure out more use cases for them. Uh, this rocket's going to be for other materials that we want to send. Um, and I should probably make um, a set of requester chests that gives me the common things, like uh, maybe, for instance, we might want solar panels. We might want accumulators. We might want assembling machines. We might want electric furnaces. Um, we might want chemical plants. We might want some modules. I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to be building the, um, the tier two sometime soon. So I'm just going to put those requests in now. We'll probably want some pipes, maybe even, well, hang on, rocket capacity 50. Uh oh, you serious? You little bitch. What are you doing? Now, how did how did that get in? Where's my turret coverage? So I've got complete turret coverage down here because of the last time that happened. The only way they could sneak in is through here. And where am I standing? I'm standing right here. So it must have come in straight through the train yard. All right, fine. So what we'll do is... Uh, just, we'll just set up you know, let's 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 take this guys out for finish the use of my destroyers I'm telling you the destroyers are amazing um, let's extend this just a tiny bit. See, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That will let the trains through and keep keep the area secure. So um, we'll just keep this going south. And that's good enough. That's good enough. They're not going to come through here without a fight. So 
that should prevent any further random incursions into the base because the only way in now is if they happen to sneak through here and then avoid these turrets and come right come in through this way or if they somehow come in through this little gap here without getting hit here uh, and that's literally the only way in without getting shot at so yeah I'm satisfied with that so what was I doing foundation rocket <laughs> oh, that's right I was setting up my requests um, all right, so we're going to want some, we're going to want some blue belts. Let's put 90, 90, and some blue underground belts, 40. Um, I'm not sure if we'll need splitters or not. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll reserve judgment till later. Inserters, yes. Probably some some fast inserters. I think I think I'm gonna want to put some copper plates in there. Let's put um, 190. I want two stacks of copper plates and steel plates as well, just to get that started. Um, for sure, we're going to need low density structures. Uh, probably 190 for. Th and for sure, we're also going to need electric motors and blue chips. I mean, look at all this cool stuff. This is this is definitely th the kind of things that you need on a space platform. You know, just to get it started. And that's going to be put in this little chest here, so I can just basically stand here and grab stuff out of the chest and put it into the rocket and then send it up. That way I don't have to, you know, go hunting down stuff. Spoilage. Burnable fuel. Gathered from. Burned in. Used in. Oh, wow. Spoilage from. Well, thank goodness there's only one kind of spoilage. I uh, can just about imagine if they had implemented, you know, oh, spoiled the fish or spoiled this or spoiled that. It's like, no. <laughs> no. Um, engines. Do we need engines for anything in space? I don't think so. Oh, ammunition would be nice. Although we are going to be building ammunition, we're going to be crafting the ammunition in space, hopefully. And I, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't want to get into the habit of, of importing ammunition for moving ships because the ships are going to be spending a lot of time away from novice. And I don't want them to rely on, you know, to risk running out of ammo when they're away. So they should be self-sufficient in ammunition. But gun turrets is probably a good one. Um, all right, I think, well, oh, you know what? I also need combinators. So d definitely decider combinators and um, arithmetic combinators probably. Um, might as well. We're going to name this. Um, Space platform um, startup. Or building. Or space platform gear. Now, here's an interesting thing that I learned just like yesterday is that in Factorio now, when you set up a name for a logistics group like this. So like you set up a group, you know, you set up a, a series of requests and then you give it a name with this, that that is that name 
and that group gets set in your save, in your game, so that you can say add section and it um, it shows up right here. Like if I uncheck this, but then say space platform gear, look at that, it's, it's right there for my personal logistics, which is just fantastic. You know, in fact, you know, but I, this is obviously, I wouldn't use this one for my personal because you can't personally carry things to the space platform. You just can't. That's what your rockets are for. So this is the dedicated uh, foundation rocket. And then this, um, this is the, oops, what icon should I give it? What's the most common thing I send? Probably low density structures. Uh, platform gear. Yeah. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. So, what now? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a different format, a little bit of an experiment for my episode format. I'm going to like do one major project or one major goal, I should say. And then I'm going to end the episode there to keep them short because my episodes have been really long and I have a feeling that people don't like it. So I'm going to cut this one right here, but keep playing and then uh, pick up the next episode in just a second. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.